We love laptops for their freedom, but once real work starts, that screen feels tight very fast. You open a browser, a timeline, a spreadsheet, and suddenly you are jumping back and forth all day. That is where portable triple monitors come in. And today, we are putting two options side by side, the Afia P2 Pro and the KPQA X50. Both promise more screen space without a fixed desk setup, but they approach the idea very differently. So let us talk through how they feel, how they work, and where each one fits in. Let us start with how these feel right out of the box, because that first setup moment matters more than most spec sheets suggest. With the Afia, the experience feels very refined. The packaging is minimal, and once you pull it out, the aluminum body immediately feels thin and well-finished. It clips directly onto your laptop, and the process is straightforward. Press, push, pull out the screens, then adjust the bracket. After one or two tries, it becomes muscle memory. But the KPQA X50 feels different from the start. It does not attach to your laptop at all. Instead, it sits as an independent unit with a kickstand. You place your laptop in front of it and connect a single Type-C cable. That makes the setup feel more like placing a mini workstation on a desk rather than expanding the laptop itself. It feels sturdy and the weight gives confidence, but it also means you need a bit more space. So right away, the choice starts to show itself. Ophia feels travel first. Kate Piqui feels desk first, even though it is still portable. Now let us talk about how these are built, because this affects long-term comfort and trust. The Afia P2 Pro uses an aluminum alloy frame with soft rubber contact points. Those rubber sections protect your laptop edges and also keep the unit stable. The hinges feel flexible yet controlled, and the screens rotate far enough to adapt to many seating positions. There is also a telescopic stand at the back, which quietly does a lot of work. It holds the whole setup steady, even when you type fast. Buttons on the Afia sit at the top, which makes sense when it is attached to your laptop. Power, volume and lock controls are easy to reach. Ports sit at the bottom and cable routing stays clean. Meanwhile, KPQI goes for a more industrial approach. Here, frame feels thicker and heavier. That extra weight helps stability, especially with the kickstand open. The anti-slip pads underneath do their job well. However, the power button and port sit on the side, which feels slightly awkward at times especially when you need to adjust brightness quickly. One important difference is pressure. Afia clamps onto the laptop, but it spreads the load well. Cape QA avoids any pressure on the laptop screen, which some users will appreciate over long periods. Both products use dual 13.3 inch IPS panels with 10 to 80p resolution and a 60 hertz refresh rate. On paper, they look similar. In use, small differences appear. The Afia panels feel sharp and clean. Text looks crisp and the anti-glare coating helps a lot in bright rooms. Brightness feels adequate for indoor work, though outdoor use remains a challenge, which is expected in this category. Colours look balanced, and for tasks like editing, writing and research, they feel reliable. The Kipkwi panels offer similar sharpness, but brightness feels slightly stronger. With around 280 nits, they hold up better in darker rooms and controlled lighting. The HDR support exists, but it feels more like a bonus than a core feature. Color coverage sits around 72% sRGB, which is fine for general content and light creative work. One nice touch on the KPQA is the independent OSD control for each screen. You can tweak brightness and color separately, which helps if one screen handles tools while the other handles content. This is where things become very personal because workflow shapes opinion. With the Afia, everything feels compact and efficient. The screens stay close to your main display, so eye movement stays minimal. This works very well for writing, editing timelines and research. We often kept a timeline on one side, a preview on the other, and notes in the center. Power delivery also plays a role here. One of the USB-C ports supports up to 60 watts, which allows charging your laptop or phone through the monitor. That reduces cable clutter and feels thoughtful. On the other hand, Cape Kui creates a wider setup. Screens sit further apart, which feels more like a traditional desk monitor arrangement. For spreadsheet work and multitasking with many windows, this feels natural. However, it does demand more desk depth and KPQA draws power from the laptop, so battery drain becomes noticeable. Using the included adapter helps, but that adds another cable to manage. 
As for compatibility, Ophia supports macOS, Windows, and even Android devices. It works with M1 through M4 MacBooks without a docking station, which is a big deal. Driver installation is required, but Linux support is not available, which may limit some users. Now, KPQA is Windows only. That is not a small limitation. If you use macOS, this simply is not an option. On Windows systems, setup is simple and driver free, provided your USB C port supports video output. Thunderbolt ports work well here, so the decision becomes clear very fast if you use a Mac. Portability means more than weight, it includes setup time, bag space, and stress during movement. The Ophia folds into a slim form and slides into its pouch easily. It feels designed for cafes, airports, and temporary desks. KPKUE is also portable, but it feels closer to transportable. It fits in a backpack, but the weight and size make it something you plan around rather than casually carry. So if you move daily, Ophia feels easier to live with. If you move occasionally, their KP Kue makes sense. At around $339, the Ophia P2 Pro sits in a premium spot. What you pay for is compatibility, refined design and travel friendliness. The KPQA X50 usually comes in at a more approachable price, like $260 to $270. You get strong build quality, independent screens, and a desk-like experience. The trade-off is system limitation and bulk. Neither feels overpriced for what it offers, but each targets a different type of user. So where do we land after using both? If you want a portable triple monitor that truly feels like an extension of your laptop, the Ophio P2 Pro makes a lot of sense. It feels integrated, flexible, and travel ready. It fits people who move often and use different systems. If you want a stable triple screen setup that behaves like a compact desk workstation, the KPQA X50 delivers that experience well. It feels confident on a desk and supports deep multitasking on Windows. In the end, this is less about specs and more about how you work. Choose the one that matches your rhythm, your system, and your space. That was all. Thanks for watching. Share your thoughts in the comments. And if you found it helpful, give it a like and subscribe for videos.